What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I'm gonna be introducing my new reel that I got for Christmas, the Shimano SLX DC. Uh, for those of you that don't know what it is, it is a digitally controlled reel, so it speeds the spool up and slows it down depending on how fast or slow the line's coming off the spool. If you guys are new to the channel, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell. I really do appreciate it. And uh, let's get into today's video. Here it is guys, the Shimano SLX DC. Um, got it for Christmas. I've never owned a DC reel, so this is gonna be my first one. There are tons of videos all over YouTube about this kind of reel. Um, Corrado DCs and a whole bunch of other ones. But I've never had a DC reel, so I'm throwing it on the channel for you guys to see, for those of you that have subscribed to me. Hopefully, you know, this video helps somebody who's out there looking to get one and they come across it. Um, I'm just gonna go over the settings, how to set it up, and uh, I'll take you guys outside and show you that there's no need to thumb this reel, that you're not gonna backlash it. Not saying you can't, you definitely can backlash this reel, but um, I'm gonna show you guys how quick, easy, and great this reel is. What I wanna to introduce to you guys first is the DC part. So for those of you that don't know, there's a little computer chip in here. And basically it reads how fast this spool is spinning and how fast the line's coming off. So if it's coming off too fast, it's gonna slow that spool down automatically. And if it's coming off too slow, it's gonna speed it up so that way you don't backlash the reel. But there, right here on the corner, if you guys can see that, there are number settings. Uh, it goes from numbers one to four. Four being the most restriction you're gonna have with this reel and one being the less restriction, basically free spooled. Um, so number four is what you're gonna wanna put it on if you're new to bait casters, pitching, flipping, or um, running braid. That's what you're gonna wanna throw that one on there. Um, and windy conditions, of course. The number three setting is gonna be for your fluorocarbon. So any type of fluorocarbon, 100% fluorocarbon, anything like that, you're gonna run that number three setting on there. Let you cast a little bit further too because it doesn't put so much restriction on the spool. So that um, number three is gonna be for your fluorocarbon. Number two is gonna be for monofilament. I'm not exactly sure what the difference would be from three to two besides the fact that you're, you know, with three you're using fluorocarbon and with two you're using monofilament. So I'm not exactly sure what the difference is between those two, but I don't run monofilament, so I'll probably never use number two setting. Um, and then if you click it down to one, basically you're gonna wanna thumb that one when you cast it because this spool is gonna have no restriction, no breaking to it whatsoever. It'll be just like a traditional bait caster. Um, over here, your tension knob. So on your traditional bait casters, you usually set this up here for you know the different type of lures that you use, how fast the lure falls or how slow the lure falls. But on this guy, because it is a DC reel, what you're gonna wanna do is this here is to adjust the movement of the spool itself. So in order to set this up, you wanna tighten it down until you have no movement whatsoever in that spool, which means that spool doesn't go left to right at all. Once you tighten it down to where there's no movement on that spool and you don't get no left and right movement, that is gonna be where your reel is gonna be set and it does not matter which type of lure you are using. Um, over here you have your star drag nut. So basically this here adjusts your drag. Um, I did get the left-handed version. I am a right-handed person, but I like to fish left-handed. And um, I did get the six to three gear ratio, a little bit slower reel, but I wanted it for those chatter baits, those crank baits, that kind of stuff. I didn't want, you know, jigs and that. I didn't want a topwater reel where I'm gonna have to, you know, reel those fish in super, super quick. I have a reel for that already and a rod. So this is gonna be uh, highly used on the channel, basically for every bait besides soft plastics and topwater. All right, guys. Let me do a little test for you guys so you guys can see how this reel goes. The weather here is kind of crappy, but so basically what I have is I just have this little paddle tail tied on and uh, I've got it on setting three. 
but what I can do is I'll go ahead and put it on setting four for you guys so you guys can check it out. There's my daughter Brooklyn over there on her scooter. I did it. I went forward and then I turned. Oh, it's good. She's learning how to uh, turn on her scooter. It's not used to two wheels. So basically I'm going to cast this out there. I'm going to show you guys you don't need to use your thumb. Look at that. No backlash. Let's reel it back in. I'll show you guys again. This is on setting four again, guys. So you're going to want to use this for pitching, flipping, and braid. Um, I'll show you guys a little pitch here. No backlash. Let's throw it out there again. I'll show you guys. No thumb. No backlash. So, very, very impressed with this reel. I have not taken it out to catch fish with just yet. Um, but it is a pretty darn cool looking reel. And it makes a cool sound. All these Shimano's and, uh, well, any DC, not just Shimano, but Corrado and all them. Um, they make that cool little, little sound, so. I would highly recommend this reel for you guys if you're looking into getting one and you're not sure about a bait caster or how to operate one or how much thumb to use definitely get this it'll help teach you and uh, it's got a cool color black and blue looks good i have a paired with uh, lose american hero speed stick right now just because i haven't found a rod that i want to use with it just yet so all right guys well that's going to do it for today's video um, I hope this video was informational for you, especially those of you out there watching this video that's looking to pick up a DC reel. Um, again, it's got four different settings. Uh, you can play back the video to hear which setting does what and what it works best with for the line. Um, if you guys haven't checked out my latest video I uploaded, uh, Hoodoo Tempest 120P, my kayak, which I've had, but I'm gonna be fishing with it this year. Didn't get to too much fishing well kayak fishing wise last year uh just been crazy with work and and other things and moving and all that good stuff so haven't had time to get out there on the water but i will for you guys this year like i said a lot of lake fishing coming up this year hensley eastman millerton shaver lake you name it we're going out there we're going to get on these fish for you guys sycamore island when it opens up too is a good place for bass that we're going to try out so again thank you guys for tuning in be sure to give this video a like which means smash that thumbs up button and a share and as always get out there and rip some lips